and you're like incredible, like all these people are, and thinking like it's the good stuff you've helped people with, and you think of just like all this like this great stuff and shit. Fuck. It's weird, dude. I'm getting almost teary. I'm like fuck. <laughs> okay, let's rewind back. This is Rebecca Hollis. Now, I would start by asking a question that he would normally ask at a panel. Please put your hand up. Until about a minute ago, you had absolutely no idea who I was whatsoever. Please look around, and I'm humbled. <laughs> so good. All right, so in a nutshell, Rebecca used to be a professional snowboarder, started up a media company, Frontside, around the time that YouTube just started, and produced online video content for big brands. He also started a co-working office space called CoLab NZ, which expanded to become New Zealand's largest co-working workspace in over 10 locations. He ran both those companies over the last decade, and at the end of last year of 2018, he exited both his companies. So that's him in a nutshell, and to introduce me, I'm Sugi, and I'm a filmmaker. So Rebecca and I linked up for a good mutual friend a couple of years ago, and it was only a few months ago when I just released my 2019 plans that I got a message from him saying, do you want to do a couple of projects together? There wasn't much of a direction other than the fact that I was spending five days with him and it was going to be complete chaos. As I come to think, yeah, I did, I did have a brief. It was, oh yeah, he kind of just said, um, every time I fly, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna die. Have I been a good person? Have I done the right thing? Have I, I always, always think it. I always think I'm gonna die. And so uh, I guess that was it. The crazy week began. All right. So it's about 5:45 in the morning at the international terminal in Auckland, and he just got off a 13-hour flight from the states. <laughs> G'day mate, how we going? Any damage? Yeah. Oh. Alright, let's go. Good to see ya. Straight after that we headed right into town for a board meeting. So gnarly busy yeah. that it takes more time almost weeks and months to lock in a time that everyone's in the same city. So they, people think I'm busy, it's like no no, these people are busy. <laughs> and then after an hour we headed back to the airport. Awesome, thank you very much. Hi, how are you doing? Landed in Christchurch, caught an Uber, and went straight to a three hour workshop he was running. As soon as that wrapped up, we caught up with a friend for a beer and then went straight back to the airport. Where are we going now? Wellington! Oh. <laughs> Next day, again, another workshop for three hours and then back to the airport. Alright, Rubit, what's happening now? Very excited for what's about to happen. Yes, yes! Oh, mate! This is what I've been waiting for. Uh. To all the killers and the hundred dollar fellas. <laughs> 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 oh, no. That was insane. It was already an insane week and I got exposed to some pretty incredible experiences. Yeah. There's one more oysters coming out. It's the big dog. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sh damn, damn getting exhausted right now. <laughs> Nothing like after a big week getting up at five something to get to go boxing. So You're you just, fading. I am definitely fading. <laughs> On to the next one. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Going on here. I'm about to go into a meeting and you're not coming. Oh what? So I'm having lunch by myself for the first time on this trip. Oh my, that's cool Ruby. That's alright. <laughs> Got myself a beer because why not? Here they are. Oh, hey guys. We went here. Good yeah. So, how do I unpack the week?
You both there will be more than just a documentation of what a Kiwi entrepreneur's week would look like. I think in general we all know that someone like Rebet has a crazy, crazy schedule and has so many things going on at once. For those that know him or follow him online, they'll know that he produces a lot of small social media content that he releases under his social media platforms. And let's just say there was a certain theme to these. Hey everybody, Rebet Hollis here. Stuff that. It was like, flipping, just want to flipping. Flipping done nothing. Bullshit. Just flipping sack up and go do it. Stuff that. The flipping povo. Yeah, and I remember um, one of his friends that week um, said this to him. Everyone sees you, but no one gets you. And before the week I was with him as well, I kind of had that perception too of like this dude who's crazy, passionate and just gets shit done. But throughout the time that I was with him, um, one of the things that really resonates with him that he always shares is that his mother, when you're growing up, his mother would always say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So I noticed across all those videos that he's released and just all the discussions that I've had with him, he sticks to his guns and that's what I love. But even with that preconceived idea, I still saw that. I still saw that um, even after spending almost 24-7 with him. I have to admit, I was a little nervous meeting up with him at the airport. I mean, I, I wasn't relaxed and you know, I was thinking in my mind, holy shit, like there's this guy who's achieved all these things and um, I'm about to hang out with him for the next week or so. And I remember having this feeling where I have to be very serious and straight and like, you know, I, you know I've got to act very, very professional all the time. I mean, you know, in my mind, it's like, this is a guy who just sold both of his companies at, at the age of 33. But I realized immediately, though, that he's just like any of my other friends. Missing something. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Yo! We're, we're friends! Yeah, we're friends! Yes! <laughs> cousin! Tesla cousin! How are we feeling? Let's go through the Getting warmed up. This is the, the, the champion. What was it last time? I, I think 75. 75 oysters. The fact that he's opened his arms and let me into his inner circle and, just, and has just brought me into these huge meetings um, was just was just crazy, but in a way just so so grateful for. And I know that there'll be so, there's so many people in his position that wouldn't do that at all. I mean, even on one of the days he invited a fresh out of high school um, student who had just won the Young Innovators Award and um, allowed him to shadow him for the day. So I just wanted to just give me a quick lowdown. Yeah. What's been like shadowing Rebet today? It's been crazy, eh? Like yeah. the first hour, you know, closed two deals. And I'm, I'm kind of like sitting there in the corner, you know, just, just listening to everything going on. He knows how you should approach a, approach a deal. He knows how you should start the conversation off with someone when you're trying to teach them something so you don't just go in um, and start teaching them stuff because you don't have the respect yet. And yeah, not only was I getting really cool experiences and going to these different events and meetings and just meeting all these incredible people. <laughs> hey, and so, will I be seeing a side that no one else really sees, but we don't really usually and see? This, this will be the expo expose that you're after, that's for sure. Yes! <laughs> right, supposedly I push this button, yeah. shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> what? But it was, throughout the week, a huge learning experience for me and as I was learning as well, I was slowly understanding more and more of Rebet's core values that he brings to his life, which was incredible. I just always think, like, everything I've always created has always been a byproduct of helping someone. Like, Frontside was because my buddies were getting screwed and overpriced on shit which should have been way less, and I got pissed, and I was like, stuff that. The action sports business was like, I wanted a, a third-party, non-conflicting entity to help money come into the sport to create content to help it. Collab was, I think it would be awesome to get like-minded individuals in the same spot. The commerce was always a byproduct. You know, be a good human, help other humans, try to be not a dick about stuff, and if you can add value, do it. I could tell that that was where Drubert truly shined, was he cares so much about people and building that connection with anyone. And you know, throughout the week, we bumped into so many people we knew, and every time they saw each other, it was always a genuine excitement. Um, and um, you, can, you never got the, the sense of them being starstruck or anything of that nature. You can tell that um, he'd built these real relationships over the years with these people that he knew and um, and became really good friends with them. And you always got that sense of they were just catching up and just picking up where they left off. And so being in that environment and feeling that vibe and energy was so rewarding and it was really, really um, an 
awesome learning experience to have. And you know, as I got to hang out with him more and more, he's still quite a, he still has a fierce nature. So you're not pissed me off about that. Yeah. You still need to know who he is. Yeah. No one's ever said that to me before. No one's ever gotten me to think that way before. No one's been as brutally honest about certain things which I know with what I can do with my life. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, fuck. And, but what I realized though is more the fact that he's just truly authentic to himself, which was awesome. And that his authenticity is also coated in kindness and um, he's very heartfelt and um, also he can be vulnerable as well. I got paid $300 to be an actor for a day. And the actor was, I had to do this character on a TV show yeah. that was an Italian exchange student called Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and I found the footage, so I'll push play and yeah. no one's ever seen this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and through all this as well, I feel like I really got to the root of how his mind works and how he's driven. And it's this um, idea of for him, it's how can I help people? When you're with a good human and you spend enough time, you get a moment. And as soon as you get one moment, it unlocks flipping everything. And, and right at the end there, that last minute, we hit the moment and all of us were just like, yo, <laughs> that's the shit. And you could never do that if you just had a whiteboard session in your office at, at 10 o'clock. You have it with when you're with good human and, and that spark of inspiration at that exact time, that is the shit. Hell yeah, I'm flipping pumped. That was good. And that's one of the most incredible things I learned from him and what I, what everyone should strive for is that despite all the successes by you know, selling his companies and you know, creating a huge name for himself on LinkedIn and all these other social media platforms is that they are only the byproduct of what his true intentions and values are and who he really is and that is helping other people and trying to make a better place for others. It's weird dude, I'm getting almost teary, I'm like fuck. <laughs> you think how grateful you are, you know, you think how like amazing your life is, and you think how like how and, like incredible like all these people are and you think how like it's the good stuff you've helped people with and you think of just like all this like this great stuff and shit. Fuck. It means a lot for me, like it, it genuinely means a lot that I can help people and do things and it just like, it stuffs me up man. Because I, I know that like shit that I'm doing is going to have an impact, like shit that I'm doing is going to help, help people. And so, if I, I always think about it, like dying, if I die, I'm going to be like, I'll be okay. <laughs> and it's like, it's, I've given it a good nudge, so yeah, that's me. You know, like, 